confirmed. Commencing combat readiness trials. Hey guys, my name is Jay and welcome to another joyful video and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a game called Gundam Evolution and answering the question, how good is it? So without further ado, let's get into it. Gundam Evolution is the first person team shooter developed and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. The game was released on July 15, 2021 for PC and for consoles it was released on November 30th. Most of the Gundam games fall on third person brawler or action game. But this game dives into a new territory as a free to play team shooter. You don't have to be a Gundam fan to enjoy this game. Anyone with minimal knowledge or no knowledge at all of Gundam can still play and enjoy every bit of this game. If you don't know anything about Gundam, let me explain it to you in few words. People in big ass robots or Gundam fight against other Gundams. This game is like if Overwatch and Titanfall had a baby. You have the team based game style like Overwatch and big robots like in Titanfall. Gundam Evolution has a decent player base, so whenever you log in to play, as soon as you click the play button, there's always a match you'll find in few seconds. The characters or the 10 ton death machines in this game control and feel with a swiftness that almost feel like you're controlling a real human character. All of the Gundam characters in this game have a thruster system, even though they may vary between Gundam to Gundam, but they all serve the same purpose. The thruster system allows the Gundam to run fast, dodge in a specific direction, and float in the air till they run out, but they refill real quick. There are some parts of the game that you can see where the similarities of Overwatch kind of peek through. The UI in this game is really, really similar to Overwatch, like the health, the weapon, the utilities, and even the circular shaped ultimate are really similar. Not only that, some of the characters in this game feel really, really close to Overwatch characters. The Pill Rider feels a bit closer to Soldier 76 in Overwatch. And also, the Gundam Barbados feels suspiciously familiar to Reinhardt with each swing with his melee weapon. Just like in Overwatch, every Gundam in this game has their own utilities, weapon, and an ultimate that charges over time. There are three different game modes in this game, Point Capture, Domination, and Destruction. Point Capture is similar to Overwatch's control mode where you fight to control an area. Domination is where each team battle to control 3 points simultaneously.
and destruction is your regular old search and destroy. There are a total of 21 Gundams in this game, but 9 of them are locked. These locked Gundams can be unlocked by in-game currencies. There is 2 in-game currencies, Evo Coins and Capital Evo. Evo Coins must be purchased by real world money. But you earn Capital Coins just by playing the game. But you can unlock a Gundam by using both of these coins. The Gundams in this game feel unique and different from other characters from Team Base Shooter. In Overwatch, there are three main characters, Tank, Damage and Support. If you pick Support or Tank, there will be minimal damage that you will be doing. But in this game, every character has killing power, despite being Tank or Support. So, even though if you are playing a Support Gundam, you can still defend yourself if the enemies are attacking you. When you lose a fight, you don't instantly die. You will be in a down state where you cannot move but your teammates can still revive you. The game's visuals are not appealing, it's just bland. The details in this game though is very very good. Just look at this teeny tiny car, this tiny lamp, this tiny building. It looks so cute. <clears throat> okay, anyway, the ability to unlock a character without spending any real life money is great for people like me. Because this is a team based shooter, solo queuing is not the best, but playable. The movement system of Gundams feels a bit floaty for my liking, but the thruster system is really really good. It allows you to chase down an enemy or get to cover real quick. Overall, this game gets 3.5 Gundams out of 5. The gunplay, the movement and the abilities of Gundams are great and just need some fresh new color palette. Overall, this game is really really great. So what do you guys think? Will you be playing this game anytime soon? I highly recommend for you guys to play it. This game is a twist of old classic with a breath of fresh air. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment and all those cool stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.